Well, first of all, as you've probably heard, uh, Ben approached David to do it. And then, um, so we first talked to Ben on the phone. I was saying, I just read The House of the Seven Gables, and I, was, I knew there was a harpsichord in it. So while we were waiting for Ben to call, we knew it was going to be two o'clock, so we were sitting there thinking, okay, well, what are we, killing time before two o'clock. And I was sitting at my keyboard, just noodling, and I said, well, you know, I have this tune that I've had in my head for like 25 years, and that would sound good on a harpsichord, and I know there's a harpsichord in this, and it's kind of creepy, so maybe Ben could use this. So during the conversation, um, I mentioned that to Ben when you're talking to him on the speakerphone. And uh, I said, I have this tune, you can use it if you want. <laughs> so I played it all for, for Ben. And he said, I always remember this, he said, I'm not saying this to be nice, but that completely captures the whole spirit of the movie. Well, okay, you can use it if you want. <laughs> so, I, so I was thinking, I'll just record a version of it and give it to him and you can do whatever he wants with it. And in the meantime, he said, could you record the version of, the younger version of David's character? I'd always want it to be an animated voice, so yeah. I'm an artist. Oh, a painter? Or are you the musician whose music I heard on the harpsichord in the middle of the night? No. So then, as we talked back and forth, he said, could you write the whole music for it? So I was thinking first, of course, well, there's no film to write to. So I thought, maybe we can do like they did on the old TV shows and have stock music, and I could do a bunch of cues in different moods, and you just edit it all together. But eventually it worked out even better, where he would send me animatics, which were these animated scribbly storyboards. But it had the dialogue and the timing just right, and I could get the mood. And I'd always wanted to write film music. And so I had this piece, just a piano version of this. So every, all the little bits from the whole piano to it, I could think like a composer instead of a songwriter for the first time, instead of just a tune. It was like thinking in terms of little themes and chords and playing around with those. So really the whole score is based on those chords. So variations on that. So I would be watching Ben's scribbly little animatics on the on my computer screen playing along and just having a great time twisting things around and I knew, okay, at the beginning we need something peaceful. Um, so that okay to show the happiness that got destroyed by the greed and the curse. So do, do the major key version. <laughs> Same chords, except the major chord. Then it goes into something peaceful, and then it gets ruined when the evil character shows up and it goes into minor. So just thinking like that, psychologically, of the different... To tell the story in music, which I had never done. I've, I'm an actor, so I was sort of thinking it in terms of acting with music, which I've never done before. Colonel! Colonel! Colonel, are you in there? Colonel, open this door! And then thinking, just in, you can't hear it now, but the different tones, like, okay, the harpsichord sound will represent the 1600s, the piano will represent the 1800s, except the harpsichord can linger on for the evil character because he's sort of the reincarnation of the 1600s one. I think be more subconscious for the audience. And um, it came toward the end where Ben was frantically animating it and it was due the next day. And he said, I need two more minutes of music. Can you come? And I didn't have anything to do. And he said, I don't have any pictures for you or anything. But luckily by then I had known enough what it was leading up to and I knew it had to end on the major key again because the audience had been waiting for it for the last 25 minutes. So it, as I got it in bits and pieces it made sense like a puzzle piece sort of fitting it all together and things that were intuitive like at the beginning I thought okay it just has, needs some mysterious chords. <laughs> Ben, I have 
have no idea why it, why that needs to be there. He said, sounds good to me, but... But I said, you remember the old Gumby car cartoons and how it has those mysterious chords before it goes into Gumby in the theme song? And I said, it needs that mysterious with tinkly little wind chimes. And he said, okay. Um, so we referred to them as the Gumby chords from now on. And later on, he said, I think in this scene you need the Gumby chords. And, but later on, in a different scene, I figured out why it was there early on. And it was when um, Jaffrey comes in and is talking about the treasure. And then you re I realized, oh, that's his obsession for wealth and gold. <laughs> that goes down. And then the wind chimes are sort of like insanity. So figuring out as I went, so it's sounds a lot more planned out than it really was, but it was almost magical the way things fell into place. And the themes sort of developed themselves, and I realized, oh, Alice, this is her theme. So I knew that's got to come back at the end, where she finds peace. And finally, for the first time, you hear that a happy song played on her harpsichord. And she starts playing the happy Matthew Mall. <laughs> and that almost makes me cry, and I, I put it on there. When I, because somehow on some level you know Alice is playing that happy song on her harpsichord. So that, that's the resolution of what got screwed up 25 minutes earlier in the film. So in closing, really, um, one of the things I'm most satisfied with this is I've had this tune in my head, the whole piano piece actually, and um, for years, decades, and I never knew what to do with it. Now it's finally found what I know it was meant for 20, 25 years ago. And it's like a puzzle piece that just finally clicked in where it was meant to be perfectly for all these years and I didn't know it. So I'm so happy about that. It's one of my best musical experiences. Thank mm -hmm. you.